Oos. Face Sensei here, back with another video. Had to say that at least one more time. So, yes, I have been kicked from phase. Uh, me and another, a lot of other phase members. My honest, my initial feeling, my honest feeling is it's bittersweet. Now, I want to go into why it's bittersweet. Um, but first, I just got to take myself and you guys through the timeline of phase because I have to express my gratitude and just the love that I have for what phase has done for me. The opportunities that it's given me. Uh, the people that I've met, friendships that I've developed, even being on YouTube, right? None of that is possible without uh, FaZe Clan, without being a part of FaZe. So let's rewind like 10 years ago, because I believe it's 2013, 2012, 2013. FaZe Temper, Tommy walks through my doors at the dojo, becomes one of my students. We develop a friendship. We start gaming together. I go over his, his apartment. We're playing 2K. It's like 30, 40 minutes. He hasn't come out of his room. I'm sitting at the loading screen. Tommy, what are you doing, bro? Are we going to play or what? Sorry, bro. I'm just, uh, I'm trying to upload this video. It's taking forever. Come to find out that's the phase two miltage, right? I don't even know what phase clan is. And we're at the level of two miltage. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, the whole world is waiting for this video. I got to figure this out. I guess there was an issue with the intro or the outro or whatever with the editing, uh, the thumbnail or something. Right. Uh, and then I saw that it, phase two two miltage was trending worldwide and i'm like bro what is this right fast forward he's inviting me to gaming events um, i'm meeting other phase members then boom fast forward phase house new york tommy invites me to be able to live in the house with the guys to be kind of a positive vibe and kind of be a different energy in the house help train guys do martial arts whatever i thought it was a good fit i moved to the phase house I become a member of FaZe Clan. We're playing basketball, doing videos. I'm the cameraman, doing whatever I can to help out the guys with anything, right? With content creation. Then they moved to California. I was never going to move to California out west because I was always a, being going to be a part of the dojo. Never leaving the dojo. Sensei's my thing. Always going to be my thing. I start trying to vlog because at this point, when I went to, to the FaZe house, FaZe Fitness was going to be something for me to do besides helping the guys out in the house. Build a little sister channel to help bring positivity and healthy lifestyle to our community. So I send out an email and a, and a video calling out for help. Bam, I meet FaZe Jasper at the time. Jasper wasn't in FaZe, but then joined FaZe, right? So I meet Jasper, like a brother that I've known for over 10 years, 10 years now. I would have never would have met because of FaZe. That's crazy. Just had to pause and think about that, dude. Wow. They go to California. FaZe Clan is having some falling out, right? Banks doesn't move at, at first. There's a little bit of separation of house. It's kind of a lot of commotion going on, some controversy. And then FaZe Fitness takes the back door, of course, right? It's not gonna, it's not working out. I start trying to vlog and trying to find my lane on YouTube back home while the guys move out to LA. Not working. I decide to call up Calvin Cater at this guy. He wasn't even the UFC yet because he runs a local promotion. I'm going to do my first MMA fight, but only if Norton, you come and be in my corner. Tommy, you come and be a part of the fight. I want all the, the guys just to vlog it, right? This is going to be my last hurrah, my last chance, my last hope, right? And trying to find a lane and a space on YouTube. Boom. I get a crazy highlight knockout. Millions of views overnight. Thousands of 100,000 subscribers in 24 hours. Crazy. Then a couple years go by. I'm just, you know doing some amateur kickboxing fights, going to visit the guys, doing basketball videos, trying to do whatever to, to, to stay relevant and present on YouTube. Then KSI hits my DMs on Twitter. Hey, bro, saw your fight a couple years ago. Uh, I got a fight coming up with Joe Weller. And I'm like, you want to train? Would love to. Here we go. Then me and KSI spar. That gets amazing views. Face Sensei, I see you. Oos. Then there I am doing reaction videos to YouTube boxing and trying to give my input on it as an amateur, like, you know, martial artist. Oh my God, that's crazy. Then I'm on the undercard of a KSI Logan one. None of this would have happened right without face. So all this YouTube stuff is, is happening. I'm able to bring my family across the Atlantic ocean. You know, my parents had never left the United States and gone over the Atlantic. They've gone down, you know, to the Caribbean islands, to our homeland, but I've never been that way. So I've been able to bring my family there to visit, you know, London. That was amazing. Right. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Fast forward. YouTube boxing is happening. You know, some other things going on. Just trying to stay relevant. There's a Jake Paul beef and this and that and Deji and KSI, whatever. Right. Then Wade 
Clem starts making videos. This guy Wade here makes a reaction video to my sparring. I connect with him. Then Jasper is bugging me. Yo, you and Wade got to do a podcast together. You guys got to collab together. I'm going to make that happen. Bugs me, bugs me, bugs me. Gets us on a call. We agreed to it. We end up doing um, Creator Clash. Launch a podcast. And now here I am on the breakdown. Somehow staying relevant on YouTube. Even fast forward to me and Tommy fighting on the same card. Boxing on the same card. When I fought Kenny and he fought Slim. Insane things. And I feel like there's so much. There's, it was crazy when I think back. There's so many things that I've missed. Right? My brother Cheo went to be the chef for the face house in New York and then California for some years. The people that I've met. The opportunities that I've received. The fact that I get to do this now and be a YouTuber essentially achieve my goal and continue to try to achieve that goal that I set out when I first joined FaZe. I joined FaZe because, you know, I used to do these after school programs, uh, like anti-bullying after school programs, and I still do them now. But at that time I was doing anti-bullying after school programs um, as a martial arts instructor where I would volunteer my time uh, for kids after school, you know, uh, talking about communication skills, you know, self-confidence and all those good things. And, when I met Tommy, you know, we were, we're talking about Call of Duty lobbies at that time, right? We're talking about some of the most toxic, competitive, uh, difficult spaces to be in if you don't have thick skin. And I thought, you know, it may be nice to have uh, a different voice here and there, but also it's not somebody who's like a parent or trying to lecture you, but somebody who thinks that that gaming is cool, who loves also to game, who likes Call of Duty, who likes competitiveness, who likes messing around with, you know, talking with his friends and having fun, but also being able to have a positive impact and a positive influence on the community as well. So even though with FaZe Clan, I was only a part of that ecosystem essentially for during the New York house. And I haven't been a part of the ecosystem for, you know, eight, nine years. I've always been a part of, you know, the FaZe family and, you know, with the guys. So I'm always repping the brand. And, and the reason it's bittersweet is obviously it, it's bitter because, you know, that logo is from the New York house. You know what I mean? Repping, repping this stuff and, and being a, a FaZe member, such an important part of my life. And also it had such a big impact on me. So FaZe Clan is just a... It's just so, so important to a lot of things that I have in my life. So that part is bitter to not, you know, be able to rep it. But the part that's sweet is when I was first involved with FaZe, in, meaning Tommy, you know, in temper, passionate guy, you know, the love for FaZe Clan and wanting the, the dream to, to build it into this big brand, with like lifestyle brand, just trying to have a great impact and through Call of Duty videos. And then Tommy, remember, if you remember, Tommy was the first guy to have do the vlogging, the times of temper videos, lifestyle videos, right? He, he, he did that from the beginning. So a lot of this stuff is a part of what Tommy loved to do. You know, the lifestyle vlogs and the lifestyle videos um, was always a part of what Tommy loved to do. But then meeting Banks, you know, Banks came out of nowhere. It was just, he was this guy from a team called Soar, which I didn't know what that was. And then he comes in, he comes in to like the phase meetings, which is just like, Tommy on Skype calls, right? Uh, <laughs> and he's passionate, shooting for the stars, like the visionary, big visionary, you know, it's almost delusional. And you have to be to be able to be willing to try to create something like this and be a part of that. You know, the phase five idea, so massive, just hearing him come up with ideas was, was, was really fun. But I will say the reason it's sweet is because over the last, I don't know, a couple of years, right? Phase has not done what we had hoped it was going to do right in terms of the impact and the guys working together and keeping that great energy that 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 great vibe and energy that we once had new york and early la days right so to see that at least the guys from phase are making the decisions the the, the original guys guys like banks and, and and tommy and i know norton's not in it so it's it's that's where a better part of it, you know, Apex is living his life. So again, that part of it, but we're getting older. We're different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're getting dad level at this point. You know what I mean? So that's a, that's a part of the, the process, but the sweet part of it is to see 
some excitement. They're excited to create content, excited to, to work on something, to try to build something. You know, there's going to be some backlash about the decision making, of course, you know, who they're bringing on and all that stuff. But at least they're the ones adding people. They're the ones making the decisions, whether you like them or not, whatever. Right. I'm excited just like I was when I was watching them make, you know, Call of Duty montages, which I would, you know, had no connection with. Just was able to appreciate uh, from the outside in. I'm excited to see just content that, you know, they're excited about. And we'll see where it goes from there, you know, and I got love for everyone. And I hope I personally <laughs> felt bad for the guys that I think that were more a part of the ecosystem, guys that were like phase members and were gamers uh, because they're they're a part of the brand in a way that I necessarily wasn't because I was a part of the brand differently. You know, I was it, it's tough because when you say you bring they're bringing on these like like lifestyle, you know, streamers or IRL video makers or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know. I feel so old talking about it now. I was one of the first members that was like that was added that wasn't, you know, a sniper, you know, a trick shotter. And I've gotten that a lot throughout the years. You know, why are you in phase or whatever? So a lot a lot of good things came from adding someone like me. I think I think uh, I hope it's headed in the right direction. I think it is. Um, but that's the sweet part. I'm excited to see the passion again. You know, Banks is excited. Uh, you know, Tommy, they're excited about the brand. And I, I, I'm excited to, to watch it from my point of view. You know, I got to be a part of the the New York ecosystem in the early L.A. Uh, phase ecosystem. So I'm excited to see where this goes. You know, those are my my long lost brothers, you know, there's so many of them, <laughs> just people that I've connected with, you know, it's like those, you know, it's like distant cousins or friends you went to high school with that you get to see again, you connect with them from time to time. But, you know, I'm married, going to be having a, a kid soon. My wife's not pregnant. I'm just saying it's, that's the plan. But also the sweet part is here I am again back on YouTube. And I think uh, the fact that phase is taking this new step to rebuild. I'm excited to rebuild and refocus. I have this opportunity. I have this channel and I have made an impact on a certain community on the internet. And I think I, I want to do more of that. Um, I really enjoyed uploading content and creating content and I'm looking forward to getting back into that, you know, as sensei, you know, that's what we're going to do from now on YouTube boxing content, you know, combat sports con content, but also just me as a sensei. I think I've, I've always, you guys have known I'm, a, I'm an instructor, but more just personal sensei content as me as an instructor and also traveling and working with other martial artists and relationships that I built over the, over the years and having a lot of fun. One thing that I've done over the years is the sparring content. I want to bring that back a lot and reacting to sparring and, and breaking that down um, and having a lot of fun with that. So, yeah. Moment of silence. <laughs> oh, man. Brendan is uh, the new homie. Okay. It's a guy that was, uh, he came in and helped record uh, a video of Wade and I when Wade came down that we, and we trained together. And uh, we talked, and he's going to help me and work, and, they're gonna, and we're going to work together to help bring back this channel, which means because he's an editor and a videographer. And that's the main thing because I'm not editing a video ever again. Or making a thumbnail ever again. Those days are behind me. And that's one of the been the biggest issues with me not reason I haven't created any content is just because the the production side of things. So uh, he's gonna come record me taking down the phase logo and Reese doing the setup. He's gonna be editing this video so we can upload this thing. And then he'll be at my hitman practice. We're gonna be getting some clips. We have that video on deck of uh, teaching Wade how to do some kicks. Uh, and then content from Sensei. Here we come. Phase up. Phase out. Oos. All right. I guess it's time. Sun's coming down. Tears in my eyes. <sighs> Soak it in. Dude, look at the guys right here. Let's see how many guys are still in phase. We got rug, okay. Is that, that's re, is that replays? That's replays. I watch replays and streams every day. Live stream. 
on TikTok. Killing it on Fortnite. Dude, Sway, Fakey, Dang, Sprat, Nikon, Tico. Blaziken, look at me. Why did I put that picture on there? Apex, free! Norton, when he was blonde. That's Dave Lord Nord right there. Why is Temper GQ? No matter what, always. Why did I put a screw right in the middle of Kay's head there? That's crazy. Good, there's it. Adapt, sensor, enable. CSGO, I can't forget his name. That's, that's embarrassing. Jess, still in, be fine. It's on the center, one, two, three, four. And then rug out here. Where's Banks? Great question. Zuma, Zuma still in actually. Another one right there. Oh, Ooh, all right. Oh, it's, uh, it's coming down, guys. I don't think Banks is on this one. It's crazy. <laughs> it was for signs to come. <laughs> it was, uh, what's that called? Foreshadowing. foreshadowing. Yeah, foreshadowing. <laughs> See, obviously it's the Faze logo, but this is this was a fan who donated this. We gotta find that video. Mm. A fan made this. Never mind, donated. Made this. Delivered it to the house when 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 uh, Norton was doing the, um, the unboxing videos. Faze house. I'm keeping this. People I should put it on eBay. Craigslist. Sell to the highest bidder. Psych. I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> Up one more time. There we go. It could be good firewood. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm messing. I'm messing. I'm joking. I'm joking.